Um, it looks like it's within one card of Shuhei's list. Or, not Yuya's list from Which Kuala maybe Lumpur. They're all the, maybe they're all the same list. That's very yeah, possible. Yeah. I'm not sure where, where it started. So Brandon, red, green aggro, starts off. No mana creature, which is pretty... You want... He, he needs to have a play on by turn two. So he will be trying to do that. Brandon uh, has two Daybreak Rangers in the main deck. They're fairly strong. Um, they're good as off a of turn one mana bird. On turn three, they're okay in the matchup. That's a card that really is great the earlier you play it. All right. So I, I would expect a Strangle Root Geist out of Brandon here. And there he is. Yep. Knocks Lewis down to 18. And both that's actually pretty hard for a Delver deck. Turn two, turn two Strangle Root Geist is very good. Um, both players, I believe, are they're at X1 right now. So actually, this is an elimination match, pretty much. Already, in round five. Yep. Strong players. All right, no plays by Lewis representing Mana Leak, but, you know, Brandon, no need to really... Brandon can just make a land drop. I, I, I would see no reason to enable Lewis's Mana Leak at this point. I would probably just beat him up some more. Especially if you have, like, a Galvanic Blast in your hand or something like that. Right. But I, I don't think he does. Your worry is that Lewis will end step snag mm -hmm. your guy. Okay, Brandon will just go for a second Geist. That's got to get Mana Leak to be had, and it does. Swings for two. Brandon, I believe, had to spy a third Geist. So in that case, I do like the play of, of playing, kind of playing into the counter spell. It also looks like he has a uh, green sun zenith in hand. All right, and Geist of Saint, and Lewis will play a Geist of his own. This one is of Saint Traft. All right. It gives Brandon an opportunity to resolve something like Huntmaster here, though, which would be backbreakingly back -breaking good. Brandon has to have two more lands, so he's a little heavy on land right now. He's going to have to just keep pressure on. Uh, he does have a Zenith. He could Zenith for Daybreak Ranger, but Daybreak Ranger not very good against Geist of St. Traft. No, I think uh, here he's probably just going to play... Um, another Geist. It's in the, he's going to Zenith up a Geist. Okay. I don't know if he has the... He, might, he probably must not have the Geist. I wonder what that other card in his hand is. One's Mountain. I'm not sure what the other one is. The question is whether or not Brandon swings both of them. It's pretty, I'm pretty loath to uh, race a Geist to Saint Trap. To try to race a Geist to Saint Trap, even with two Strangle Root Geists. Yeah, it's, it's one of the reasons why the card is so powerful, Geist, St. Traft, because he just... You hear this is a little rough, too, because he opens himself up to get Vapor Snagged here. Right. Would you have to assume Lewis is, like, a pretty good bet to have, and he does, because, I mean, he hasn't been playing anything else this game. You have to think, he, you know, he's keeping the hand for something. This, to me, brings me back a little bit. Well, I guess... If Brandon had the fourth green, I almost wouldn't have played the Geist into the Manly class turn, because then you can just drop double Geist. Mm -hmm. You know, force Lewis to do something. Draw by Brandon. Lewis now representing more counter spells. And it's another land. Uh, he can try to Zenith for Huntmaster. It's pretty ambitious. See if it gets met with anything. Is that going to work? Oh, wow. And it, it is. Works. Okay. That's very good. He's going to... Very good. Getting Huntmaster. It's like almost... The, Huntmaster and Geist are almost the only things you Zenith for in the deck, which I actually really like. It's kind of just a split card. It's Geist... It's green, green, green Geist, or like green, green, red 2 Huntmaster. Yeah, it's a wild card. Which is fine. It's very good. I mean, sometimes you just... Like, sometimes you can just do uh, green sun on turn 2, and then it lets you have Huntmaster for turn 3. If you have a multiple Huntmaster hand. Mm-hmm. Brandon will go up to 15. And Huntmaster, a big problem for Delver decks. Lewis does... Is that, no, it's a Haunt and Play, yeah. No no black in his deck. All right, so Lock moves down to 12. Lewis has a Gut Shot. He could play Gut Shot, Snapcaster, Gut Shot. If he has it, he will almost certainly do it. And I, I think that's what's happening here. Yeah, he, that, that card has to be kept off the battlefield. So Lewis yeah. taking down to, eight. Four, take down to... Is it eight? I think it's eight. Okay. 
Life total becoming a problem. <clears throat> he's going to play Pike. Pike Geist. And he's going to go aggressive with it, which I like. I like that play a lot. I mean, I think that's really what he has to do here. And then looking at blocks, uh, he's going to bing with, yeah, he'll throw the wolf under the bus. Okay. Taking four, going to yeah. 11. I feel like, does Brandon Bren have another hunt master? Is that what's going on here? He has another geist. So, Brandon, a metamorph would be a good draw. That angel token's not actually there. Um, he has strangle root. I don't know the last card. Strangle root hunt master would be very fabulous. Um, yeah, strangle root hunt master would be a pretty good turn. Yeah. Um, Strangle Root Metamorph, also a very good turn. There you go. Now the Angel leaves the battlefield eventually. Tough to remember, Brandon does have another land, so he's gonna. But he doesn't need to reveal what's going on yet. So, okay. Strangle Root Guys just cast. Is that a Metamorph? The last card in hand? I think it's. Is that a Metamorph? It might be a Kessig Wolf run. If it's a Metamorph, I still don't think. I mean, well, I suppose he can take a hit from the Snapcaster. That's probably fine. The Pike will still be significant. Lewis going down to four here. And a Metamorph covering that. Going to bring Brandon down to nine. Uh, putting him in a little bit of a dangerous situation. Uh, depends how well Lewis can chain this turn, but... Right, uh, yeah, Lewis, so at four with two Geists, kind of scary. Brandon, I like how Brandon's hiding his last card right now. Um, it is a, well... It's just a land, Yeah, right? it's a land. The only reason you'd play it is to make your wolf, Cassic Wolf run, your potential Cassic Wolf run bigger, but the Cassic Wolf run is still lethal right it's now. It's lethal anyway. So that's why I like um, I mean, at this it. point, like, the only Game reason you would have played it, you would have... Essentially, like, gaining two to play it, because you wouldn't have had to pay the two life for the Metamorph, but... Yeah. It, that doesn't change the race map with the Pike at all. Right. So, uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's why I think, I think it's a good bluff. Brennan falling to seven here from this attack. Again, this is last call for our two-headed giant seal tournament. Please make your way to the main event stage now. Yeah, now Brandon can turn both these guys sideways because, I mean, it'll force Lewis to use more land haunt or to have some other type of effect. Right, okay, Snapcaster. Snapcaster. Uh, he does have another Vapor Snake. So actually, is that, that's fairly good here. Yeah, I think that, that might just be it. Um, no, it'll put Brandon to six. Perhaps. He goes six, then he goes. Because if he vapor snags a strangle root geist, oh, it makes his pike less powerful. And well, he's so he he's giving okay he he's giving the snag flashback. The problem is he's going to give Brandon a blocker. Mm -hmm. So what I think he's going to do is end step snag geist and take the damage. Block here, let it let it undie, take the damage, end step snag it to deny Brandon a blocker. Seems to make sense. Which if that's what he does, it's a great play. I think yeah. it gets him too. But Brandon does have another play. He has Acidic Slime for the Pike. That's incredibly strong. That's really good here. It's about as good as it could have been. All right. Uh, so. All right, that's going to put Lewis really on a back foot here. Lewis decided to use the uh, vapor snag on the acidic slime. That seems strange to unsummon something with a uh, 187 ability, but <laughs> you have when to, it yeah. costs more mana than everything else, I mean, then I, it's kind of your only shot. Yeah, he's going to swing with Snapcaster. Uh, Brandon will just take. That's that's fine. And guys to St. Traft, Delver of Secrets, Sago. All right, Lewis still in the game. Brandon now at five. Lewis is hoping. 
Well, he's gonna have to make a bunch of make some pretty awkward trades here. Yeah. Especially if, when if Brandon, I think if Brandon, you just slime, you slime the Moreland to haunt. I think you do that. You could slime, you could actually slime Lewis off white, which might be better than hitting the haunt, because that effectively does hit the haunt too. And it prevents him from like playing like a Geist off the top or. So yep, he has to. He blocks both, keeps himself alive. And now makes the land and slimes up the. Let's see which one he chooses. I think it's the planes. Yeah, I mean. Lewis might draw a Geist. I mean, the other option is. I don't know. I guess the other option is the haunt. Because then he can't have another blocker. He's just he's going to play it safe and get the haunt. Drop birds, it's just his whole hand, pass the turn. Does Lewis have anything? Yes or no? Spectral Flight. No, that wouldn't even work here. Okay. I'm trying to think of cards that would win that exist. Invisible Stalker. Uh, that's, we'll buy him a turn. Not much more, though. Okay, Cassie nope. Wolf Run. That will not buy him a turn. Okay, yeah. Brandon Nelson gets the first game. Yeah, he uh, drew quite a few lands there. Well played by Lewis Kaplan. Almost yeah. found a, almost yeah. found a way out of that game. Both you know, players that playing, was really, not a... playing, playing really strong. I especially like the play, which stops people. You fall into the trap of when having when Snapcaster is cast, you want to cast the spell he gives you. But what I like is the Snapcaster, the Vapor Snag, and then waiting to end step snag a guy. Yeah. Like that's a really nice find. It's uh, something that comes up surprisingly often when right. you're playing with Snapcaster range. So yeah, I really like those kind of plays. Uh, sideboard wise. Uh, so Lewis, Lewis will probably he has a dungeon guy, an extra dungeon guy in his board, which is typically brought in here. Um, I know that that card's usually see usually gets played on and sort of well probably not sort of anything really. Phantasmal image is usually boarded in. Brandon, Brandon has a stinger flying spider in his sideboard. Whoa, that's that's getting going pretty deep there. Hey, I mean. I think if that thing gets on the table, it's kind of hard. Yeah, for sure. I mean, kill Delver on its way down, and then it just becomes this impenetrable <laughs> force. For sure. Invisible Stalker gets through even the most impenetrable. Can still get past blockades. even even a two five. Yeah. Even five cannot stop Invisible Stalker. Invisible Stalker is kind of a strange card. Well, I think from a design point, no one. I can't. I don't. I, it's very hard to find someone who's really happy with Invisible Stalker. Um, I I do not like it. I, I I don't think anyone does. Like one of the best parts, the most fun things about Magic is interaction, and Invisible Stalker just has none of it. You only have to lose to it so many times. I mean, it's, even even in drafting, it's really good. It's, yeah, in the in the limited format and sealed format, it was one of the uh, one of the most frustrating parts of that format. For me, it was Invisible Stalker. I just, it, you can't beat it. There are right. so many decks where you just will not have an answer for it. Right, and that, I think that's one of the problems. Yeah. So, the uh, red green aggro decks, I, I liked, I want to discuss a little bit about some of the builds of them. I like the lists that are not running Hellrider. I feel like there was this universal adoption of Hellrider, which maybe it's not because I never made the adoption, but I I would like to talk a little bit about the builds and like, I don't know, I... I like Hellrider. Mean, okay. The, the thing is the... I mean, Hellrider gives the deck a... It's a lot of damage. Let's talk about what it's costing you, first of all. What it's cost, okay. what Hellrider costs you is it usually costs you some number of Metamorph or like either additional, it will cost you you have to shave some burn spells or additional creatures to make room for Hellrider. Mm -hmm. The biggest issue I have, the couple, of, there's two things I have with it. The first is it really means you can't run, it'll, it, it limits the number of Kessig Wolf runs you can run. Um, it makes your mana base a little worse, though your mana base is still probably fine. The second thing I have about it is that it's another four drop, and I'm not totally sure why we need that. Huntmaster's pretty good for. Hunt, Huntmaster's is the Huntmaster is the best for. Even yeah. with Hellrider, Huntmaster's just he's it. He, he's he's the deck, you know. He and Geist are the deck. They're the, they're the they're the best of it. 
I think the biggest thing is that Hunt Matt, Hal Rider to me, I think there are cheaper options that accomplish the same thing. I don't know, you know, sure he's a fine card, but like there's a limit to how much four I really want. Yeah, I mean, in general, you don't want to be playing a deck that's playing eight four drops. Yeah, you're an aggro deck, and you don't want, you know, I, I would rather ha Sword is kind of like a four drop as well. Well, Sword can almost be considered, Sword's nice because it's it's a three drop and a five drop. Right. It accomplishes, you know, a top end and, like, a medium. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be arguing against Tower Rider. Other than that, I think that the better options... The, what the deck really struggles from is that... Okay. Do you like Daybreak Ranger? May, only out of the board. Okay. It's good against other creature decks, but on, on the draw, I think the card's just not strong enough. On the play, it's okay. I think... Here's my philosophy, I think, with the deck. Is that where the deck is good and where it suffers kind of is that it wants to have a threat on turn two of most games. I think if it doesn't, it has trouble. Like, it has a lot of good mana creatures and it has Strangle Geist, who's great. But outside of, like, that, the red twos and threes are pretty weak. Mm -hmm. in the format. You know, if you try to think of your best ones, you're going to be pretty, you're going to be disappointed. You know, Predator Ooze, the Chandra's Phoenix, Skin Shifter, you know, there's like, it's really, Red has some, some gaps at two and three. So the deck is kind of, has ones, it has Serenity Geist, and it has fours. And I think what you need to do is maximize your amount of turn two threats rather than trying to maximize your number of fours. Because you don't have turn two threats, you'll often... You don't want to get to turn four and have your opponent still be at 20, and the deck does that sometimes. And I think that's why I don't like how Ryder is that he doesn't advance. He doesn't stop that problem from happening. All right, both players here. Brandon, I see a Hunt Master in his hand. I don't see many lands. Ah, uh, maybe I do. He has a bird. Yeah, he's gonna, Brandon's going to draw three more cards and then shuffle. <laughs> Take a quick Ancestor Recall. See how it ended up. <laughs> see, how, see how it ended up. What I liked about it is that he drew three cards and didn't even look at them and just started shuffling again. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's like, I'm going to look at these. Uh, they were cards. Okay. Both players appear to be mulliganing, though. So six on six battle. I don't think that particularly favors one deck or the other, actually. Both of them mulligan, yeah, I think, about I. the same. If they go to fives, Delver is probably better off because they don't play four drops. But I, I Actually, I, th I think Delver is just better mulliganing than Red Green is. The deck just costs less mana. Generally Not speaking, by much, but yeah, I guess so. Because the red green also produces more mana, so it's like kind of a wash. Yeah, but I mean, you're, you're spending cards to produce that mana, and you know, like if if your That's mana true. guy gets gut shotted or something, then it leads you to like, especially on mulligans, like a lot of you time could you get up stuck keeping more. Yeah, that's probably correct. I still think the matchup is in favor of red green aggro, even when they're both on six. I mean, the cool part about the matchup is that it's not that much in favor of Red Green Aggro. You know, it's, it's, and when it, Delver's on the play... Um, it doesn't really have a bad matchup. Yeah, I think it's it's pretty close to even. Red Green might be slightly favored, but... Yeah. Uh, on the play, I'd say Delver's even or better against everything. That's, like, why... I mean, when it get, when it, when it hits on all cylinders, it's it's, it's quite Well, when back. it hits on all cylinders, it's Nothing just... Yeah. It's the best thing you can do. Yeah, I think that pretty much sums up. All right. So, Island from Lewis, Forest from Brandon, Second Land, Pike from Lewis. And as I saw before, like, those are the, these are the kind of hands Delver wants to avoid. Ones with, I usually said I want a Delver or a Mana Leak in most of my openers, and, you know, this has neither. But Brandon really doesn't have anything either. He goes Land, Crag, Go. So, yeah, Lewis uh, will. Dropped his hand in his lap. You know, decided to switch it for some of the cards he had under the table. <laughs> um, we can see it's still the same cards in his hand. Lewis with Good. no plays. He does have Mana Leak, but no third land, so it's just a lonely pike sitting there. This has got to favor Brandon. I believe Brandon has a Daybreak Ranger in his hand. Yeah, he definitely has a Daybreak Ranger. He may try for it here. I mean, it's pretty clear there's a Mana Leak. He'll, he'll go for it, and yeah, that has to get leaked. Good eye. Lewis is going to... Yeah. All right. Third land, maybe a Geist or something. No, just third land, go. So the problem with Delver is when it doesn't have a... Th like, th these kinds of hands are, are, are dangerous because they look really good. You know, oh, I have all these mana leaks. But, like, you need a threat or your deck... The problem yeah, you're is playing Lewis, unsummons. He's not... Yeah, you're playing unsummons. If you're not ahead, you're playing unsummons. That card's bad. Yeah. 
I agree. <laughs> It's funny, like yeah, you're playing like Mana Leaks and stuff, which are those are good just, cards. Just sure. good, even if you're even if you are playing the control game. But but see, now he's in this position where he has to counter everything Brandon does. Brandon's in a thing for two, and I was like, oh god, I, he's gonna let that resolve. But you know, it's that's bad. Yeah. Strangle root, guys. Bringing the beats. All right, Brandon has a clock. Lewis goes to eighteen. And then a forest from Brandon, so yes, he's at four lands. Lewis draws, um, is that batter spell? You do? Maybe. He does have one on the board. Remember, this is an elimination match, or in the sense of both players already have one loss. We're here in round five, nine rounds today. We'll be playing top eight today, top four, and finals tomorrow morning. Yep, make sure you tune in for that. Um... You know, you're giving away some free premiums should, tonight. Free premiums tonight. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, you know, yeah. Skip Easter morning, come watch magic. <laughs> Phantasmal image on Geist. I like that play a lot. Though it does Great take play. down Mana League, which has got to be uncomfortable from Lewis's side. He's got, you know, no Hunt Master, no Hunt Master, no Hunt Master right now. It'll be, I think if Brandon can resolve a Hunt Master right now, it'll be very hard for Lewis to come back. Nope, just another Geist. Okay. That we can deal with. Now, interestingly enough, if Brandon had attacked, didn't want, a, didn't want to block. Okay, the, the, the Geist was tapped. Remember, if there was no second Geist on the board, Lewis would be unable to make a trade on the block there. Now, with the Keswick Wolf run, Brandon on Lewis's end step will be able to target the Phantasmal image with Keswick Wolf run. Yeah. It'll come back as a Strangle Root Geist. But then he can just target it again and kill it. Yeah, that's so he just gets to like pick up a free card. Remember, it's not real. If you poke it, it goes away. Yeah. It might hit like it's real, but it's not. It looks like it's real. All right, he's gonna swing. Yeah, Brand's just. Okay, Brand's gonna take it. It's just two damage. He, maybe he has a burn spell in hand. He doesn't know if. I think he's just thought. No, it's okay, Brand. <laughs> uh, okay, never mind. He didn't. I think he just didn't see it. But now he did see it, so it undies. It's a 3 2. Might just give it another little poke. So now he has seen it. <laughs> he has seen it. And he's gonna, yeah, uh, getting ready, poke it again. Another land. Brandon looks to have a pair of brimstone volleys in his hand. Oof. Which is interesting. I actually typically side those out against Delver, but I mean, here they're gonna be fabulous. They're gonna, they're, they're all the, I mean, Lewis is at 14. Yeah, he's basically he's at, at four. like four. <laughs> okay. And that's the thing. Unsummon's not very good when you don't have any pressure. Right. It's unsummoned. That's not a good card by itself. I mean, it is a good... It's, 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 it's a really interesting card. It falls in the trap of not being good because when you play in a situation like this, it's awful. And Dungeon Geists. All right. That's a pretty good one. That's actually great. But if Brandon... The if problem that card... is Brimstone Volley is going to take care of it on the yes. end step. I think that, that is Brimstone. Yeah, there we go. Throw Brimstone at it. Brandon doesn't need any threats that aren't Stranger Geists. Between them and Cassie Wolf Run, he's just po he's poised to be able to deal enough damage. So we have 10 and 15. All right. Brandon's going to knock him down to 6. I don't, I don't see Lewis getting out of this one. No. And a Hunt Master the Okay, now I really don't see him getting out of this one. Brandon goes to 17, makes Hunt Master the Fells. And his hand has another Brimstone Volley in it. So Lewis is essentially at... He's, Lewis is at 6 right now. Uh, really at, at negative 4. On the next turn, I don't see how Lewis makes it through Brandon's next turn. Actually, Image Huntmaster gain two. Still not, no, not good enough. Brimstone Volley does a lot of damage. Kessig Wolfriend does a lot of damage. All 
All right, Good place, the wolf token. All right. I mean, yeah. Yeah, he's he's just he's dead. He's dead. Well, Brandon can just wolf on a creature here and say go. Yeah. And, and that, that should be enough. I mean, Lewis could have a Vapor Snag, which, which would, I guess, prolong the game. But Brandon drops to 14 off the Vapor Snag. Not really an issue, though. Yeah, that one point, not really going to uh, do too much. It's going to metamorph the Strangle Root, guys. And just go for it. That's, I, think that's, I think that's the play. I think metamorph Snapcaster Mage. Oh, goodness. Targeting Brimstone Volley. Okay, that yeah. is yet another way to win, and, and Lewis will concede. Brandon Nelson defeats Lewis Kaplan like two games to zero. Yeah. I like I like how he won it. I feel like that that's that's winning in style. That there. is a style win. Like ah, yeah, I'll get your snapcaster from my your brimstone, brimstone volley. They're funny of other ways. So Brandon stays at at advances to four and one. Lewis falls to three and two, and likely out of contention for top eight. Actually, I won a uh, won a game of limited that way once. I.